I come from a missionary family uh, to Mexico who were with cartel members. We see them convert to Christianity, saying how they traffic thousands and thousands of children yeah. specifically to democratic politicians. And they're, uh, they actually said the biggest client for their, for their product is the U.S. government. And that actually exploded under the Biden administration. Wait, so the cartels were telling your family they yes, were- Yes, th directly in prison. They, they were trafficking kids to Democrats? Yes. So it's legit, like, cartels are, are trafficking yes. kids as sex slaves for Democrats? Yes. Is this modern day slavery? Yes, they are. So monthly. just to give some detail for the audience. Yes, sir. You have an 11 year old girl. Yes, what sir. do they do with that girl? They actually have to hide her. We were in Coahuila, which is where the Zetas were at. They just got eliminated, what? but they were the biggest traffickers. Um, they actually kind of begin to dismantle under the Trump presidency, even for the Mexican government. Um, but the biggest that they, we've known people that had to leave states, hide them, literally take them, like just completely. And, and these girls become prostitutes 100%. at 12 years old. Yeah, yeah. Pa parents have sold their kids into it just to survive. So when you, when you hear that 320,000 kids have gone missing under Kamala Harris. 100% accurate. We see thousands and thousands of migrants on top of trains coming across, just destroying everything across the path. Do they it's, mean America well or harm? Absolutely harm. So the cartel works with the American government. 100%. So to, to bring these kids as sex slaves. Yeah. Yes. This um, is not a joke, everybody. This is not we, a, we like, We've been saying this directly. for a long time. You guys can go. We it, have it's Facebook the largest, pages and everything. It's the largest there, sex yes. slave trade in, a, in the world history. 100%. And Kamala Harris is overseeing it and co-signing it.